All right, moving on in the back. It's on. Oh shit, yeah, Black Gestapo. Oh shit, oh shit. Let's check out. Black Gestapo from year 1975, directed by Lee Frost, the same guy who directed, for example, Love Camp 7, and also he has been directing a lot of exploitation film, including even hardcore porno film. I watched one of his films, it was a Display of Blue Power, or Act of Blue Blue Power, that was pretty, 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 pretty rough hardcore porno film, but... In this film, he tried his hands on black, uh, black, black exploitation film, and the end result was the Black Gestapo. And also, I have to show it immediately. This uh, Oxford video release, Ghetto Warriors. I don't know why they use this alternative title, Ghetto Warriors, but then they also write it in Finnish, Musta Gestapo, which means Black Gestapo. Never in a million years could I have I imagined that Black Gestapo will be available on 4K Ultra HD. Oh my god, what a fantastic time we are living in. When you get the Black Gestapo, man, the Black Gestapo, very sleazy black exploitation film, you get this very small release, and usually not that commonly known film, you get the in 4K altered HD. I mean, hey, kudos to kudos to Dark Force Entertainment. <laughs> okay, this film is about this kind of uh, uh, organization that is called <laughs> Black Gestapo. I don't think it's called actually Black Gestapo in the film, but it is. It is. Um, it's a it's an organization that fights against mafia in the in the ghetto in the 70s and. Uh, but it happens so that this very angry young black man who becomes like a officer, the hotshot officer of Black Gestapo, he starts to, you know, use Black Gestapo to, you know, collect money from the black community and sell also drugs. So they are not, they eventually become the, just another beefed up mafia department. This. And this one guy who is the founder of Black Gestapo, he starts to fight fight against this, you know, this black mafia called the Black Gestapo. And the scene I just showed you, that is from the final fight. Okay, okay it's very sleazy. Okay, black black exploitation, black exploitation film. And basically, I would like to like more about this film. Um, I mean, I like more of this film, but uh, I think the name kind of suggests much more. Uh, exploitative film than this is real. This really is because I think it's pretty. Uh, it's not overly exploitative or anything. It, it, the, I think this film tries to be something more than it actually is. I think it's not trying to say something, but it's really not. Not it's really not going anywhere. But as such it's a good it's an okay black exploitation action film with lots of foul language and also lots of female nudity so maybe you want to check it out if you're a fan of black exploitation cinema but maybe i would like to have something more of on this film like black concentration camps or something crazy like that i mean the black guest about suggest that it's very very rough rough uh black exploitation film and you would could really have more, more played on this concept of, of <laughs> black special unit. And what I really find it funny in this film, I don't think police is doing anything against this black guest, but they, they can do whatever they like. And I didn't think this film ever, ever shows a police anywhere. So where are the cops at? 
in this film. I don't know. But hey, I would rate Black Guest above. I would I would rate it three stars. It's an interesting curiosity from the 70s and definitely one of the raunchiest titles in the black exploitation cinema. But hey, let's check it out what kind of a release we have here. First of all, hey, this is our number four of these Ultra HD releases from Dark, Dark Force Entertainment. And then I think this is very nice. I would like to have it, if it, this would have been even more cooler if this would be embossed, but it is not. This is flat, completely flat, this slipcover, but it, I think it's simplified, but very stylish, I think. And then we have the uh, regular cover in here. In the co This is very light on extras. Uh, we get only audio commentary with star Robinson and Perry um, this original cast members of this film, which is nice, but unfortunately I didn't list it, listen to it, so I really can't comment on it. And then we only have original trailer, but hey, commentary for a film such as such a small film like this, I think commentary is more than enough extra for this. But now the most important part, the picture quality. I think the picture quality, by no means this is a reference material or anything, but uh, I think the picture quality on this disc was very good, uh, very, very detailed and also very, like they say, very good black tones in this film. So <laughs> it's appropriate that Black Gestapo has a very good black color production and the color also was very nice on this film so i have absolutely no complaints about the about the presentation on this film on on 4k disc and once more hey kudos to kudos to dark force entertainment for bringing another very obscure film on 4k ultra hd this is stuff that we really need more yeah